This is a quick video. This will help anybody that may have made a repair on their vehicle and they use their inexpensive scan tool to erase the codes <clears throat> for whatever the repair was. Some codes will log in as a permanent code. And when you have a permanent code, you're going to need either a $5,000 scan tool, which is unrealistic for most people, or you have to go to the dealer and they're going to charge you probably about 300 bucks to delete the code and they'll want to do a bunch of other stuff and this and that and it's just not worth it. So if once you've made a repair and you go to erase the codes but a permanent code is still showing up and you just can't erase it, there's a quick, simple, easy method to erase it. You can buy a set of alligator clips buy yourself a 1 ohm 10 watt resistor this is a ceramic body style resistor this one over here these are aluminum bodied 10 uh, watt 1 ohm resistors so you can buy either style uh, the resistors are actually pretty cheap couple bucks uh, the alligator cables probably going to cost you about i don't know maybe eight dollars or so Add in your shipping. I think all this stuff here I ended up getting for probably about $14 with your shipping and tax off of Amazon. So that's not very expensive at all. And you don't have to buy both types. I just bought both types just to see the differences in them. But you only need to buy one or the other. So that'll save you a buck something or a couple bucks. What you do with these is you unhook your battery cables from your battery. Set them to the sides of the battery. Take your alligator clips, take one of your resistors, whichever style, hook your negative on one end, your positive on the other. Now on your battery cables, not the battery itself, but your battery cables, hook your negative to negative, positive to positive. What this is gonna do, it's gonna drain the remaining power that's in the ECM. So that way, where it's storing the permanent code, it will erase it. it. Takes about 10 to 15 minutes to drain the power. So just to be on the safe side, I just set it off to the side there for about 15 minutes, go do something else during that time. When you come back, you unhook your alligator clips from your battery cables, unhook them from your resistor, uh, put these items away, hook your battery cables back up to your battery, and tighten them and take your code reader your scanner you can hook that back up to your obd2 port and scan it again you'll find your permanent code has now been erased so that will save you some money uh, it takes about 15 minutes to do this you will have to obviously uh, reset your uh, radio presets and what have there because you uh disconnected it for the battery for 15 minutes so you'll lose those presets but uh, small price to pay versus a five thousand dollar scan tool or going to the dealer and paying them 300 bucks just to erase what's is, is logged in as a permanent code for something that you've already repaired so i hope this information is helpful to people uh, it's quick easy it's inexpensive this works this does not damage anything it uh just a quick way to erase a permanent code